Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can add the social share button on any WordPress website using the free plugin. The plugin that I'm going to use is the free Spectra Page Builder plugin. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Spectra Page Builder plugin. I have also published many videos on how you can use these blocks in your WordPress website using the free Spectra Page Builder plugin. If you want to watch those video, I'll give you the link in the description box the spectra page builder plugin has the pro version and as of now you can download and install the pro version for free if you want to install the pro version for free i'll give you the link in the description box so in this video we are going to use the social share buttons on any wordpress website so let's go to one of the pages so i am on the demo page in the previous video i have shown you how you can use the loop builder with the dynamic content on any wordpress website using the spectra pro plugin now we are going to use the social share. This is one of the pages. You can add the social share button on any blog post or any page on your WordPress website. You just need to go to that page and you can start adding that blog on that page or the post. So here I'm on the demo page and I'm going to add the social share. So you can click on the plus sign here and search for the block social share. And you will see this option here, social share. So before that, I'm going to add a space here. So uh, let's add a space. Click the plus sign and search for social share. This is the block that we are going to add. Click on the block and it will get added. And you will see the default layout. We have Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest and LinkedIn. In the right hand side, you will see the settings of this block. You will see some presets in the right hand side. You can select any one of these presets. So let's try this one. This is how it will look. This is the second one and this is the third one. So you can have different types of presets. So I'm going to select this one and below that you will see content. Under content we have alignment, right, left, center. Then we have stack on desktop. So on the desktop, if you want to stack it, you can stack it like this tablet mobile so if you stack it on mobile this is how it will look on the mobile device so i'm not going to stack it none this is how it will look on the tablet so i'm going to select none for the tablet for the desktop none all right so we are not going to stack it now let's see what else do we have let's go to style here and this is the size you can increase the size or you can decrease the size background size is 12 border radius color now you can see the background color of this icon if you want to change it you can change the background color just like this and you can add your own color according to the color combination of your website you can also change the color of the icon use it like this or let's use white and change the background color all right now below that we have spacing this is the spacing between these icons you can change the spacing let's go to advanced and under advanced you will see animation the animation is available for the spectra pro plugin below that we have display condition if you do not want to show this social share button on any one of the browser you can select the browser and let's select firefox so this block will not be shown on the firefox so i'm going to select none responsive condition if you want to hide it on tablet or if you want to hide it on mobile device it will not be shown on the mobile device so this is how it will look it will not show the social share on the mobile devices So these are the advanced settings now let's go to general if you want to add another social media icon you can simply click on this plus sign and when you click on plus sign you will see the option here facebook you will see the option here type so under type you will see different options twitter google current pinterest linkedin blogger if you want to add it to the blogger you can select blogger and you will see the icon is already there if you want to change the icon you can select the icon from here Let's add one more, click on plus sign 
and let's search for any other option reddit and you will see the reddit icon here let's add whatsapp so we have added the whatsapp so these are the icons if you want to change the icon you can simply select that item and click on the icon and from here you can select the icon let's see we have for the facebook we have these options so you can select one of these options and this is how it will look let's update this page and see how does this look on the actual page let's go to view page and on the page you at the bottom you will see these social share buttons so if i click on facebook it is going to share this page on the facebook let's go to twitter and you will see it is going to share this page automatically on the twitter let's try this one whatsapp so you need to be logged into the whatsapp i'm doing it on the desktop if you try it on the mobile device it will go to the whatsapp automatically so i'm going to close this one if i go to blogger it will go to the blogger you need to select your blog from here all right so this is fully customizable you can change the color combination you can also change the size and you don't need to do any other setting it is going to share to that particular social media automatically we have it on one of the pages if you want to add it on the blog post you can go to that particular blog post go to edit and if let's go to the bottom of the blog post and search for social share and this is the default layout you can customize the layout just like what we did here if you do not want to customize it you can remove this one you can copy it from here copy the block and just put it and here you can simply paste the block so you can use this same block on any other blog post so this is how you can add the social share buttons on any wordpress website using the free plugin that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips